Well, five people are in hospital after Israeli soccer fans were attacked after a soccer match in Amsterdam. CTV National's Jeremy Charon joins us live with uh, the details on this. Um, this is still under investigation, Jeremy, but there's plenty of video going around. Tell us more about what happened. Yeah, Lena, a lot of shocking video, and to your point, uh, you know, investigation still underway here. Authorities are still trying to uh, put some of the pieces together here, what happened. Uh, as you pointed out, this all happened following a Europa League uh, soccer game or football match uh, that was happening between the Ajax, uh, a local Dutch team, um, and the Maccabi Tel Aviv uh, team. Now, some of the uh, Tel Aviv fans, uh, Israelis, had traveled to come watch this match, um, and and what we know is that following the match, there were groups of uh, young people going around and uh, attacking, punching and kicking uh, some of the Israeli fans before fleeing and trying to avoid police. That is uh, what the mayor of, of Amsterdam says uh, happened. Authorities say that dozens of people were arrested, more than 60 people. As you pointed out, Lena, we know five people were treated for injuries in hospital uh, and anywhere between 20 and 30 uh, suffered. Uh, some, some lighter injuries or minor injuries, if you will. We also know that there was growing tension leading up to this. There are reports of videos uh, circulating uh, of Israeli fans making their way to the match, chanting anti-Arab messages. Uh, and we know that a, a protest that had been planned near the soccer stadium uh, was denied by authorities uh, leading up to this. This was all fueled by, uh, you know, uh, um, uh, uh, pro-Palestinian supporters uh, who are frustrated with, uh, the, the, uh, with Israel's uh, undertaking both in Gaza uh, and in Lebanon. And it has also been reported by the mayor of Amsterdam that some of this had been fueled by online messaging that was being sent out, uh, uh, calling on people to target Jewish people uh, in, in Amsterdam. So it's not clear yet. Authorities still investigating. It's not clear yet if it was uh, mostly fans that were targeted or Jewish people as a whole. That is something that they are still looking to uh, address in the investigation. Uh, but certainly a concerning scene that many have called out throughout Europe, calling this an anti-Semitic attack. Uh, there has been much reaction so far as well, Lena. Tensions are incredibly, incredibly high. Uh, you just talked about that reaction to these attacks coming in from all over the world, really. Uh, we're now hearing from Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. What does he say? Yeah, exactly. You know, there's been uh, messages from across Europe calling this, you know, an anti-Semitic attack, condemning this anti-Semitic attack. Uh, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau taking to social media platform X today uh, to comment on what happened. He called this incident horrifying. He said this is a dark moment in our world. And he says, uh, added that Canada condemns uh, this disgusting anti-Semitism. We also know that Dutch uh, police authorities have heightened security um, at Jewish institutions across the city. Um, and Israeli authorities Authorities uh, have also spoken out about this. We've heard from uh, Israel's foreign minister, who uh, is said to have left uh, on an urgent trip to Netherlands uh, to, to address this issue. And the government was offering help as well to get its citizens uh, back home on commercial flights. Uh, and Prime Minister Benjamin, Benjamin Netanyahu offering uh, some words as well, calling the assault on his citizens, uh, saying that it would not be overlooked and demanding that Dutch uh, government officials take vigorous and swift action. So a lot of reaction to uh, kind of this, this troubling um, uh, incident that happened uh, yesterday. Indeed. Jeremy, uh, thanks for keeping a close eye on this. We so appreciate the update. Yeah, anytime.